You may be wondering, are all halal nail polishes created equal? And are they actually living up to their claims? Well, that's what we're here today to do. We're looking at the facts and the fiction of halal nail polish. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Habibi, also known as Science Bay on Instagram, and today I'm at the Tuesday in Love headquarters for a very special segment on halal nail polish. So before we can get started on talking about what halal nail polish is, I'd first like to talk to you a little bit about what my qualifications are. Currently, I'm a PhD candidate completing research in a molecular biology lab. I also completed my Bachelor's of Science and Bachelor's of Education. I'm an active scientific researcher and a science communicator on multiple social media platforms, including Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. For those of you who may not be aware of what halal nail polish is, let me give you a brief idea. For many Muslim women, wearing nail polish has often been an issue. This is because Muslims are required to pray five times a day, and before doing so, they're required to wash all parts of their body, including their hands and feet. Now, when they wash their hands, the water must touch all parts of their fingers, including their nail beds. With regular nail polish, this often becomes an issue because the nail polish creates a solid barrier between your nail and the water. Therefore, you have to remove the nail polish before you wash your hands. And doing this multiple times a day can be really tedious and time consuming. This is where halal nail polish comes in and saves the day because it supposedly allows for water to permeate through the nail polish and reach the nail bed upon these washing rituals. Before we begin, I want to mention that the purpose of this video is not to state whether or not these products are halal. That's a religious ruling that is completely up to you to decide on whether or not these products are right for you and how you choose to practice your religion. What we are here today to do is to provide you the scientific facts and knowledge on how these products work and provide you with the information so that you can make an informed decision on whether or not these products suit your religious beliefs and practices. It's also important to remember that the process of testing these products should be easy and simple. The reason for this is that many companies can test these products and make very large claims by using high-tech equipment and technology. If you don't have access to that type of equipment, then you have to take their word for the claims that they are making. This is why we want to provide experiments that you can easily do at home to showcase how these products work. In the end, it's better to complete your own experiments at home so that you can have peace of mind when choosing to use these products. So many halal nail polish brands claim that they are breathable based on the fact that they allow water to go through them. If we dive deeper into these claims, what they actually are referring to is water vapor. Now, what is water vapor, you might be asking? Water vapor is a gassy state of water. In other words, when water goes from liquid to gas, those molecules separate from one another and end up in the air. As you can see, as we boil water in this kettle, water vapor is being released. So now ask yourself this, for the purpose of performing wudu, do you need to use water vapor or do you need to use water? I certainly hope that you're not using water vapor or steam because if you did, your face would essentially peel off. The temperature of steam is 181 degrees Celsius or 358 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot. If you wash your face with that temperature of steam, you could result in getting serious second degree burns. You might be wondering, well, what about the water permeability test? Where you take a drop of water and you place it on top of the nail polish painted on a piece of paper towel and you see if that water droplet will go through. Let's examine this experiment. 
Now, according to directions on various websites and many YouTube videos, all you have to do is take your nail polish and paint a coat on a piece of paper towel like you see here. Then I'm going to go ahead and add a drop of water and see if it's able to seep through the nail polish into the paper towel. For the breathable brands, they recommend that you actually rub the water to allow for it to seep through the nail polish. Allow me to place a drop of water on each of these nail polishes. Hold on, I see a lot of red flags right now in the methodology that I just said. First, when you're conducting an experiment and you touch any of the components that are involved in that experiment, you immediately contaminate your potential results. Our fingers alone have germs, dead skin cells, oils, and various chemicals from different soaps or creams that we're using throughout the day. By using my finger to rub on the water into the nail polish, this is contaminating the potential results that we may see. The second flaw is that these experiments require you to rub the nail polish for a certain amount of time, but they don't really account for the variations in pressure that you're applying when you're rubbing the product. The average water pressure that's coming out of your tap or faucet is between 30 and 60 PSIs. And without taking into account the pressure that you're using when applying your finger to the nail polish, there is immediately a flaw in this experiment. However, if the water was able to go through the nail polish completely unassisted, like we saw with the Tuesday and Love formula, then we can say that there is a decent enough of evidence to show water permeability. Like any good scientist, you still might not be fully convinced. And that's great, because science is all about asking questions and looking for more evidence. You might be thinking, well, just because the water goes through the nail polish on a piece of paper towel, will it actually work on my nails, which is a harder surface? That's a great question, and a question that we're going to explore next. For this, we wanted to create an experiment that tested the water permeability of nail polish on a hard surface. Now for this experiment, we're going to be using Alka-Seltzer tablets. These tablets are made of sodium bicarbonate. When that sodium bicarbonate is placed in water, it reacts with the water and creates carbon dioxide, or a gas, that fizz that you see in soda drinks. So what we've done is we went ahead and painted one coat of nail polish on two different Alka-Seltzer tablets. One using the Tuesday and Love formula and the other using a breathable brand of nail polish. The idea is that when I go ahead and drop these tablets in the water, you should see bubbles start to form and fizz coming out of the tablets. Let's test this. As you can see, the Tuesday and Love tablet is already beginning to fizz and bubbles are forming. This means that water is actually able to go through the nail polish and react with the Alka-Seltzer tablet and create that carbon dioxide fizz that we're currently seeing in this cup. On the other hand, the other brand of breathable nail polish, there aren't any bubbles. That means that the water isn't able to go through the nail polish and therefore it's not really a breathable brand of nail polish. So guys, I hope you had fun doing some really cool experiments with me to show exactly how halal nail polish works. For all you cool nerds out there, I just want to give you a few more interesting details on how exactly this product works. Nail polish is made of a base known as nitrocellulose. 
This is the stuff that combines with the dye and forms that hard layer on your nail when it dries. Breathable nail polish has what's known as a K-polymer in it. And this is a chemical that is also used in contact lenses to allow for moisture to go through the silicon lens. Although this K-polymer was added to breathable nail polish, there was no scientific evidence to show that it actually works the same way as it does in contact lenses. The Tuesday in Love formula is also a nitrocellulose-based nail polish. However, they've modified it at the molecular level to create a nitrocellulose base that allows for water to move through it freely. This is why they patented the Tuesday in Love formula because it works so much differently than other brands that you may see on the market. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it. And if you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. If you're interested in seeing me do some more fun experiments for you, then I'd love to also hear from you in the comments. Please follow me on my social media platforms like my YouTube, my Instagram, and my TikTok. And until next time, spread the Tuesday in love.